Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout 2. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here in beautiful Arroyo as we leave the Temple of Trials and, uh, well, we left it without causing bodily harm to any of our fellow tribesmen. And yes, we also got our Vault Suit. At the end of the last episode, we got the Vault Suit. We saw a little, little full motion video um, where we now uh, are donning that beautiful, beautiful 13 on our back, and we also have access to the Pip Boy, which is a very important aspect of our adventure. Uh, I don't know what that is for over there, but because that's that's probably added by the uh, Restoration Project, which I am running, I remind you, do uh, links down in the description below if you want to get the game for yourself and the Restoration Project uh, project as well, as well as the uh, unofficial patches and all that sort of stuff. So we have uh, a mission. To retrieve the Gek for Arroyo. That's our mission. So last episode basically was the Temple of Trials in as short a manner as I felt was appropriate, but still enjoyed my time, and now we must adventure into the... into this village. Oh, the soundtrack. Oh my god. Hello, Cameron. Oh, yeah, that's right, Cameron. How's it going? Oh, it is good to see you again, Chosen One. How may I help you? Uh, well, hello, Cameron. Uh, you just ready for another fight? Ah, oh, you have a tongue of purest silver, Chosen One. Your skill with words will open many doors for you. <laughs> Good day to you, Cameron. See you later. And to you as well, Chosen One. May the spirits guide you on your quest. Indeed. Indeed. So I'm gonna wanna try and avoid these plants of Dark Soul over there. They're not... It's not from... From Dark Souls, don't worry. It's all fine. But they are a little bit pissed at me. I'm gonna be able to avoid them, but um, they have started combat with me and they must... They must be purged. Soon enough, anyway. So... Ooh, can I go? Yes, I can. So exploring Arroyo is a mixture of probably memories for me, before you stands Hakunin, the village shaman. He appraises you with his crazy eyes from somewhere in the world only he inhabits. And I gotta see a rope as well. Where's that rope? Is that it? Is that the rope over there? Maybe. It is. It is a rope over there. Huh. Cool. Pretty cool. Let's not talk to Hakunin right now because uh, he's, he's a, pre a pretty big part of this town. Let's first have a chat with people. Hello! I hear you are the chosen one. Now perhaps our village can be saved. Uh... Sure, uh, what, can, what can you tell me of the traders who trade with us? Oh, it's not my place to deal with the traders. Talk to Minak, the guardian of the Great Bridge. He sees them all. Oh, really? Uh, could you tell me where this Great Bridge is located? <laughs> Good joke, Chosen One. You know where it is. That way, to the south. Well, thank you very much. Can I ask you more questions? Where, where can I find healing herbs? Oh, go see Hakunin in the northern corner of the village. He can help you. Oh, thank you very much. I'll, I'll see you later. What about you, little guy? Uh, you see your young cousin, Nagor. You don't see his dog, Smoke, anywhere. Oh, cousin, am I glad to see you. I need your help. Uh, sure, but I don't have... Uh, what, what, what do you need help with? Oh, Smoke ran off into the hunting grounds and hasn't come back. And now Meryl... 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 Morlis... Morlis, yeah, won't let me go find him. She says it's too dangerous and he just... He's just a dog. But I was going to go anyway. But now you're here and you could do it and I... Uh, won't... I uh, wouldn't get in trouble. So, yeah. But where are the hunting grounds? Oh, what do you... What do you do? Get hit in the head with a rock? <laughs> They're on the far side of Hakunin's tent, north of the village. Okay, I'll I'll be back with him soon. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. So we need to find Smoke, Nagor's dog. And also I need to press shift a bunch so I can see stuff that is on the ground. We have uh, Brahmin over here. Singular would be Brahma. Let's see if this game treats it like... Uh, uh, it's a Brahmin. No, it doesn't. Uh, it, it doesn't treat it like Fallout 1. Fallout 1, Brahma is the uh, singular version of Brahmin. Uh, but yeah, at least as far as I understand it, we got a male village villager over here, and uh, just they all talk the same. Let's go over here into this tent. Uh, am I? Yeah, Jordan over here twirling his spear as usual, but the the that spear over there. Oh, chosen one, the way you use a spear, you'll be meat for the geckos in no time. I can show you a few tricks. Oh yeah, sure. This will take a little while. Oh, that's not a problem, Jordan. Yeah, you're a swift student. It looks like you've learned all I can teach you. Well, thanks, Jordan. That's gonna help a lot. And he taught us in unarmed. No, actually, he taught us only in melee weapons. So maybe now my two hit chance with this baby over here is gonna be the same as my two hit chance with this beauty of a baby over here the, at the end of my fists. Uh, or at the actually my fists. Hey, Jordan, you got a lot of visitors over here. I wanted to quick save here so I can steal from you. They don't they don't mind that, uh, that we steal. Some do. Hakunin does. But nobody else. So what do we have here? Brock flower and Xander root. We're gonna learn about them soon enough. We actually just asked about them in a little bit. But yeah, be sure to get everything because in the beginning of the game, 
everything is really, really important. Just, it's, you're, you're, you're really scraping the bottom of the barrel in terms of just every single little bit of supplies that you can get your hands on and all that. That's, that really matters. Uh, especially for us, that we're gonna need a lot of healing because we, we're not really prepared for what is about to happen. Hey, Lucas! Oh, so there you are, Chosen One! <laughs> How goes your quest? Ay, hey, man, not so good. Uh, maybe you, you need a warrior's help. Sure, what can you help me up with? I know how to fight with my fists and fit. Think you can learn that? Oh, sure, what can you teach me? I can teach you enough to fight better. It will take us all one, uh, all off one day. Oh, sure. Go right ahead. You have learned well, Chosen One. May the wind be at your back. Yeah, unless I'm running away. No, actually, running away. Unless I'm running backwards. That, that wouldn't have been good. So, yeah, we spent a little bit of time. We... We started the 25th of July, we spent a little bit of time over there, and uh, now we'll, a full day over here with Lucas, trying to learn our melee. That's really good. It's a shame that we didn't get that before the Temple of Trials, but there we go. Um, okay, so these guys don't really... Uh, yeah, I'm just looking around the village one last time before I leave. Oh, gods give you speed to bring back Eden before it is too late. Yeah, the Gek, the Garden of Eden. Eden. Creation kit, not Eden. Eden. Okay. It's, it's a funky name, sure, but it's... Uh, Hey, you see your nephew, Fergus, crying about something as usual. Okay, who's my sister? Or brother, I suppose. I think it's sister. I think I have a... Do I have a sister? Well, I have I have a sibling for sure. Uh, please fix the well. Boy, are you... What, what age are you? I got a shovel here. Let me fix your face. Okay, actually, there's something back here that I might want to get my hands on. Oh, is it inside? I think it is inside. Okay, well, let's, don't go inside. That's not... Not good. Um... Okay, so the well has not worked for a while. It needs to be repaired. Hmm, okay, let's just use our things. You see a well, I know that. But can I use my repair skill? 20%, that should do it. You repair the well. Man, you're stupid. Ah, thanks for fixing the well. Yeah, you are. You speak like that as well. Yeah, whatever. Uh, okay, so we have a few more things in here. Good stuff, good stuff. We don't have anything there, unfortunately. We have a little bit more Brock flower. Uh, that's actually the Xander root. And uh, the shovel there really is not going to be necessary, I don't think. Uh, and who is this beauty? A female villager. Okay, it's not, it's not really my place to, uh, to ask her questions. What is this guy doing over here at the edge of the map? Okay, finally, guys, let's have a chat with Akonin. No, that's actually the village elder. So let's go for Akonin first. I think that is the proper way of doing this. I think they, they talk about things. Hello, man. Greetings, Chosen. Why does the earth before me warm to the touch of your passing? <laughs> oh, I'll come to say goodbye. I'm leaving on my holy quest. The earth sings with the news of a champion upon the land. Perhaps before you go, you would bestow a kindness? Sure. What do you need? The plants of Dark Soul have infested my garden again. Many seasons have touched my bones, and I am too frail for the fight which is eternal in nature. I ask that you be my champion. Hmm. Yeah, I'd be honored, Holy One. May the gods bless your efforts, Chosen. May your aura grace my presence when the earth breathes clean again. So I take it you just want to see me again when I'm done. You could have said so, you know. Yeah, you could have said so. He doesn't he doesn't mind if you say that like that. Uh, so yeah, my character, what is he gonna be in terms of just character? Well, he's... let's see if I can steal from him. I don't think he m likes that. No, it's this chest back here. Yeah, you can, you can touch that chest. Uh, well, you can if you sneak very well, but you, I can't. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm, my character is basically gonna go along with everybody, but he's gonna have ulterior motives. The ulterior motive is save his village. Simple enough, straightforward enough. It's a completionist character, so we'll see how our character develops more on the meta gaming side of things. Maybe somebody, somebody is gonna piss him off in a particular way or something like that. We'll see, we'll see. But for right now, we need to take care of those... Uh, of those plants over there. It's actually really tricky to do it without dying um, too fast. Let's see, our unarmed is now 55, which is pretty decent. Uh, our melee weapons is 46. It wasn't before, but it's still not going to be enough. It's probably going to be like 30% chance to hit uh, these guys. So let's just go right ahead. Actually, if I could... Oh, boy. Let's go. It's not going to go well. Ooh, they didn't attack me. Okay, so that's 43% chance to hit right there. And on this one is 34. Of course, this does extremely more damage, but I can't really see that. I think this might be a better bet. 
so I can attack three times with the other one. Yeah, this might be a better bet. Let's go with that. And actually, I'll just do it off ca do this off camera because it's. I'll be right back. It's not going too badly. It's actually going relatively well. I just scored three hits in a row over here, and uh, it's going down. I'm not gonna punch it because it's a little bit easier. Uh, and I do still do a lot of damage. Six hit points. It's not bad at all. Huh? I was considering. I was considering doing uh, melee because you know it, it 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 does actually do a bunch of damage. But if we can get our hands in a spike knuckles, that that'll be pretty good. Uh, let's get these plant spikes over here uh, because that's what they throw at me. They have a ranged attack, and this guy was missing a bunch. By the way, it was fantastic. It was brilliant. Uh, I still got hit, of course. But can I pick that up? Yes, I can. Let's go with that. You can't sell. I mean, you can sell. You can sell these. It's just like for one uh, script. What what's the what's the currency here? It's not caps anymore. Uh, they they uh, developed an, a new currency. No, there are still other things, but it's yeah. So let's go up here. I think this is to the Temple of Trials. That's not the hunting grounds, and that is over here. What's his name? Clint. Hey, Clint. Oh, greetings, chosen one. It's good to see you. How may I serve you? Yep. Just thought I'd say hello. I'm leaving on my quest soon. Oh, may the spirits of our ancestors protect you, chosen one. I wish you well on our, on your journey. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. Me looking like a badass with this vault suit or whatever that is. It's made of uh, of spandex, by the way. It's not made of leather. It's more more jeans material or whatever that is called. It's spandex. Halo. Ah, you return the spirit of the dweller to the world and bring a smile to the soul of an old man in passing. For this, I give you powders of healing. Remember, they fog the mind as they cleanse the body. They do, don't they? And also, will I mix the Brock flower with the Xander root together whenever you bring both to me? Will you? May your pathways be true and your heart follow suit. So where can I find these things? Look to the north, Chosen, and the way will be open. Well, thank you very much. Okay, and something that I missed on my... Uh... I think I missed on my first uh, Let's Play of Fallout 2 was that I can press shift. I, I, I never, I don't know if this is new, the new versions of the game or what, but I never knew this. I always played Fallout 1 and 2 without pressing shift, and I, it basically shift highlights the items on the ground. You've seen me do that. Uh, and yeah, we need to go over here, because we need to get some smoke. Quite literally, and you can hear him. Unfortunately, over here, we also have Gex, which of course are beautiful little creatures of death. Uh, but these ones are easy. Ooh, we got a, a Xander flower over there. Or is that a, a Brock flower or a Xander root? Is a Xander flower or a Brock root? Okay, that is, I think that's a root. Yeah, it's a root. Because the flower is, uh, is um, orange. And they sometimes don't spawn accordingly. So it's random. Uh, there doesn't seem to be too many geckos around here, which is kind of surprising, actually. Because I don't remember this being just infested with geckos. And that's why it's dangerous. That's why Smoke is getting himself into a little bit of trouble. And this guy's not seeing me, which is... Wait a minute, he's not aggressive. Is he aggressive? Well, it's gonna be now. Oh, I'm gonna miss a bunch. But that's why I, I kite them. It's easy enough to kite them. It also takes a long time, so I'll be right back. And the little guy is dead. And he doesn't have anything on him. But later on in the game, we're gonna be able to get his spelt. Uh, but that's gonna be uh, it's gonna be in a long while actually. Well, probably like five or six episodes. Not really that long, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, for right now, we're just killing geckos for the experience. How much was that? Fifty-five. That's pretty pretty good. Oh, look at that. We have two flowers over here. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. And there's two geckos as well. They're not aggressive. That's I don't know why they're not aggressive. I remember them being. Oh, they are. Well. Let's see what I'm going to be able to conjure up in terms of strategy here. Hmm. Fighting two geckos. I'm dealing a lot of damage, though. These these weapons are pretty decent for, for damage dealing. Um, but I think it's, it might be a little bit too tight. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to focus. So how are you looking? He's unhurt. Oh, by the way, the, something I always kind of turn on, but I never really know, knew what it was. In the options screen, there's a, a thing that says combat looks. And you can turn it on, or you can uh, just leave it off. It's off by default. And what it is, it's it's kind of weird. But basically, there's a uh, there's a mechanic that is basically called look. Um, and if you, I, I can look it right, this it, it's that one up there. You can use the scroll wheel or the mouse itself to go up and down. And that's the look. What happens is if you have the uh, reticule, or is it reticule that's called basically the uh, little this thing over here? If you have it. Um, 
on, and uh, you have uh, combat looks on, you'll be able to just look at creatures by just hovering over them, and it's kind of good. It's actually really good, and I've, I've just, I'm just used to playing like that. So you might see that, you might notice, uh, or you might just not have noticed that in the uh, in the option screen, and might want to have something like that. It's just good to let you know about um, about the physical state of the enemies and all that. But anyway, let's kite these guys. Let me kite these guys, and I will see you in a little bit. That last one was a tough little guy. He actually got me good. Yeah, I think no 55. Hmm, he might have been a yeah, might have been a tougher version of the other guy because the. That one gave me 55 experience, and I gained 155 experience, so it, it kind of doesn't add up. That other one must have been different or something. It was a little bit faster, I think, than this guy. Uh, but anyway, yeah, they're gone. There's nothing else for us to pick up except... Of, oh, there's another one. Is there? Is that guy alive? Yes, he is. It's a gecko. Let's see if he likes me or not. Actually, he doesn't mind me too much. I'm gonna say hi to him. Oh, that's not gonna go well. Ouch. That's what you get. There we go. Oh man, the soundtrack. I love the soundtrack. Of course, the soundtrack is still done by uh, Mark Morgan, the same guy that made the soundtrack for Fallout 1. And I believe not for Fallout Tactics. I think Fallout Tactics soundtrack is done by somebody else. Could be Mark Morgan as well, but I don't remember it being, actually. Oh, we got another one, of course. He's prowling the woods. But he doesn't actually see me. It's really weird, actually. I don't, I don't enjoy that. Let me punch him. It's a little bit easier to punch them, but that's just normal. Yeah. And actually at these low chances to hit, so basically I have a 30, 36% chance to hit with an unarmed attack and a 25% chance to hit with a melee weapon, with the melee weapon that I have. Um, so at this level it's probably better to just go with unarmed because it's more than 50%. No, actually not for more than 50%, but it's, it's, it's a, diff a different, it's good enough for, for us to just, you know, take the uh, lesser but more likely attack. Let's not get hit, because we can now melt away at any moment. And yeah, these things, they're goo. They're radioactive goo. Nothing out of the ordinary, of course. Hmm. And here is Smoke. Hello, Smoke. A canine, probably a, of a mixed breed. Well, I I don't, I have no idea. Does he talk to me? Woof woof, he says. Well, he, he does. He does, actually. He's gonna follow me and he's gonna get hurt. Usually he gets hurt in this little puddle over there, because it's, uh... It's actually possible to get through there, right there. Three hit points of damage. I swear, I swear, I wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was the dog, and I'm sure he got hit as well. Shut up. Let's go. I'm sure he got hit on the way in as well. But he was running from the geckos. He doesn't have a spear. He doesn't have punches. Well, fists, I mean. He, he, he can still punch. It's just not as effective. I imagine. I don't know. I've never been punched by a dog. So, yeah. Let's just go, Smoke. Let's go, man. And off. He goes. He just bounds towards his loyal, I suppose, friend, owner. I don't know how he regards his Nagor over here, but hey, Nagor. Oh, you found Smoke. Thanks. Smoke, you're a bad boy. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Goodbye. And I gained five karma and 100 experience. Actually, let me look at how karma works. So basically, you have the general karma over here. I don't know what this affects. Uh, in my experience, it doesn't affect anything. It might affect stuff like... Uh, some rewards for something or not or something like that. We also have the virgin of the wastes over here. Basically, we have never done the nasty nasty. Um, and uh, yeah, we are idolized here. Idolized, I mean, that's how it's pronounced. In here in Arroyo, uh, but that's not going to be the same situation for everywhere. Yes, we have the keys to the city, but that's because we're the chosen one. We should be the chosen one. Hey, Hakonin, did I tell you that uh, you're? Did I do your thing? Did I tell you? Ah, uh, chosen. I did, I did. My garden is well. How is yours? My, it's it, it's kind of good, but I do need healing. You are well. No lessons? No incomprehensible speeches? Y you sure you're okay? Ah, chosen. <laughs> My garden oh, is boy. well. How is yours? Mine is pretty good, but I am going to want you to make me... Let's see, five healing powders, because I have uh, five, uh, four flowers and five brock. Xander, uh, what, the things. Uh, so let's see, I, 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 yeah, I'd like you to make some healing powder for me. May this be of no use. Indeed, thank you very much. And actually that takes ah, a little true, while. Such is life. Oh, wait a minute, he did it all? Oh, such a life, ah, I, lo I love that true, line. Such is life. Two creates a third. You will need both Xander Root and Brock Flower for the healing powder. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. He made just a bunch. And that was good. I didn't know he made... I, yeah, I forgot that he made all these. I am also going to want to be on lookout for... <laughs> these are just to be sold, right? They're not worth much. But they are worth something. And I am going to stick with them. If I, need, if I can carry them, of course. Let me see if I can get whatever is back here. I think he... Those who still carry a great burden. Remember this, chosen one. Oh, he doesn't like that. Okay. Mm, I never did that. <laughs> okay, let's have a chat with the Wilder, Wilder Elder. Vil Village Elder. I was gonna mix up the two words by mistake, and then I tried to mix them on purpose, and I, I failed at both. <sighs> Congratulations, Chosen One. You have survived the Temple of Trials. Are you ready for your quest? The wild, my first answer would be very appropriate. I'm gonna just gonna say, of course. Then take this flask. It is from the Holy Vault 13. Oh. Vic, a trader in Klamath, brought it to us. He may know where the vault is. You may also need some of what they call money. Here. Is there more you can tell me? I cannot help much. So much has been lost from the long ago. What wisdom do you seek? The long ago, huh? Tell me about the Gek. It is a holy artifact. The Garden of Eden creation kit. The discs promise it will make our lands green and our village prosperous. It will save us. More? I do not know. Okay. What do you need? What about Klamath? I always say Klamath. She says Klamath. So it's... I, I, mispr I probably mispronounced it, but yeah. What? How do I get there? Klamath is to the east. Okay. Um. What do you need? What about Vault 13? The Holy 13? Yes. I cannot help you. Only the Vault Dweller knew. His tales have the sound of a perilous journey. I see. There is much I need to know. What do you need? Uh, on second thought, I don't need any help now. Goodbye. And there we go. We have our quest. We can now leave. Let me also save the game here, because I don't know if they're, um... Oh, yeah, nice. We have... M muta... Oh. Muta fruits? What's... They, they have a name for that. We'll see. Oh, no! I jammed this thing! I know. Okay, so I think I might be able to repair it. Uh, it's unlikely, though. I think it's really, really... The lock is jammed. Can't you repair this? What? I thought you could re... Okay, never mind. It unjams itself after, um... After a day. So we could wait there, but I'm just gonna reload there. And, uh... There's no time limit in this game, by the way. I don't think I'm... Oh, I definitely picked the lock. Yeah, we're gonna need a lock pick And that. Mm-hmm. What about that? That's not a thing. Okay. She doesn't mind us taking her stuff. Uh, we fixed the well. And, uh, uh, that's the nice lady that we saw before. And this is the not-so-nice lady, but the w one that looks exactly the same, except she has a spear. You see, Morlis. One of your aunts. Aunts. Aunts, that's how it's pronounced. Uh, I'm not a native speaker, by the way, so can I be excused? Oh! I lost three karma from stealing from my own tribe. That wasn't a thing. Huh, really? Ah, well. Um, I think three karma for a couple of things that I really don't need is a good enough trade. Uh, I'm gonna get enough, plenty of karma. It's not a problem. Um, because it's it's a completionist playthrough. Let's have a chat here with Ant Morlis. Why don't you bother me? Why do you bother me, nephew? Can't you see I'm busy? Hmm. Well, maybe. Maybe I can. Let me see if I can see you a little bit better from in here. And... No, she doesn't have anything. Oh, she might... I think she does have something over here. Oh, yes. Yeah, that totally didn't steal from you, auntie. Nope, that wasn't me. That was not me. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a kind of a, an opportunistic. I need to be. I have to. I'm the chosen one. They should give me... Aunt, Aunt Morlis is really not that kind of woman, though. Um, but uh, we are going to have a little bit of a encounter with her soon enough. Because we are about to leave the town. Or the village, I guess. But uh, not before we talk to that guy over there, because he knows a lot, uh, apparently, he knows about the traders that come and go into the city, so into the village. Um, so it's going to be, um, can I, there is a tribeswoman over there, and uh, it's going to be interesting. Hello, chosen one. <laughs> Have to find the gek? Uh, yeah, but um, I was wondering about your spear. 
It looks a little different. Oh, my father thought, taught me how to make stronger blades than most. Get, get me a piece of flint, and I'll fix your spear too. You'll need it. In, you'll find. You'll need it in the wilderness. Uh, yeah. Where? But where would I find one? A, a piece of spear. A piece of flint. I mean. Oh, they say your aunt Morlis has been hoarding a piece. Uh, she's uh, so ill-tempered. I don't know. I, I don't think anyone's asked her. Of course, the witch will want something in return. Yeah, I suppose she will, won't she? Let's the witch. Nobody likes her. Not even me. Well, but we'll see. Maybe she likes us, and then I'll like her, because usually that's how it goes. I, I say usually, but I'm sure if I liked her, she wouldn't like me back. If she, she's, she's a st stubborn witch. What is it? You know I have a lot to do. Do you? Um, my, Minox said, Minox said what? Out with it, child. That, um, you might have some flint? I do. What do you, you want some? Is that it? Uh, well, yeah. Well, I want three doses of healing powder. Bad times are coming, and I'm going to be ready. Bring them to me, and you can have the flint. Now get to it. Uh, yeah, Aunt Morlis, I'm on a perilous quest for the salvation of our village. My chances of success will be greatly enhanced if I keep the healing powders for myself, and you give me the flint. Don't you agree? Ah, well, oh, very well. Here's your flint. I wish you a safe journey, child. Thank you, Aunt Morlis. Mm-hmm. And I gained 50 experience for that, for convincing her... To give me the flint for nothing. Yeah, we can actually pay for her. It's not it's not a big deal. And some, some of your bills will not be able to get that. I think you need... I'm not really sure what the check is. But we're going to pass all the skill, speech checks in this game with this, with this over here. Actually, the perception is going to limit a couple. There's one of perception 8 that's required. And there's another one that has perception 9. So, uh, I'll look into that. And maybe we're going to take, like, mentats or something. That allow us to have um, extra... Um, extra perception. So let's have a chat with Minok. Oh, did you talk to your aunt uh, out of her flint? Oh yeah, I have some right here. Oh, it's a good piece. Give me your spear. Okay, here you go. Now you put the pieces like so, and here is your new spear. Thank you, my friend. This will help a lot. And that means that I now have a spear that does plus two damage. Well, actually, it's 4 to 13 rather than 3 to, uh, to uh, 11. But it's still an upgraded spear, one that I will keep with me. And I still don't have the uh, spiked knuckles, which is something that I really would like to do. But uh, we are about to level up as well soon enough. So who knows? Maybe when we leave the village, things will happen. But that's going to be for next episode, because we're out of time for the day. Look at that. What is that down there? Bones. You think these might be horned kangaroo bones? But you cannot be sure. They're too weathered to make a final determination. Oh, what terrible evils wait for us in the wasteland. We shall know that in the future. For now, I'm Girl RPG, and this has been Fallout 2. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, and you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, be sure to leave a like down below to let me know. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.